Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you wanna see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is listed below in the description. Today I'd like to share with you this really fun card made with the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set and I am also pulling in the Plentiful Plants stamp set. I also want to share with you a fun way you can get more from your embossing folders. And so we're going to be doing a technique where you use them like a background stamp. And so that's how we get this really beautiful wood grain image in the background of our card. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've gone ahead and placed my images on my clear blocks. And I just want to tell you really quickly that the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set is a two-step stamp set, which means that there are two images that can go together to create a full and finished image. So for example, I'm using this cute little squirrel that's looking at us from the side and you have the lined art, which is great by itself. And if you want to color it in, you could do that. Or you can add the, um, I don't want to call it a shadow, but maybe the colored inside area of the squirrel so that this stamp set can be colored really quickly by just adding that second um, stamp. So I'm going to be doing that technique today. So I've got the outlined image and I'm doing that in early espresso. And I'm just gonna stamp this on some basic white cardstock. And then for the inside, I'm going to use Cajun Craze, but I don't want it to be strong. So I'm going to stamp off first and then stamp on because I want him to have a little lighter coloring to his body. So stamp off. And then you're gonna line that up with the image you've already stamped. And then nice even pressure all the way around. And you'll get something that looks like this. Then for the greeting, I'm going to go ahead and use the early espresso again. And I've got the hay there. And I'm going to stamp it on a strip that is one and three eighths inches. And then we'll trim that down in just a minute. Next, I'm going to use the Plentiful Plant stamp set to give me some of these fun leaf images so that the squirrel has a little something to hide in. This is a distinctive stamp, and that just means that with one image, you're going to get a variety of shades. I do like to sometimes stamp my distinctive stamps twice just to give me a little better image, and so I'm going to use my Stamparatus for that today. So I already have placed my stamps on the plate and I'm going to ink them up in two different colors of green. I'm going to begin in Mossy Meadow for the smaller of the two. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that once. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. You can see that my first image, I didn't get it stamped as well as in this one area right here. And so that's a good reason to also use your um, Stamparatus. Just as a side note, as I'm switching my plates, you do wanna make sure that when you're using the photopolymer stamps that you have your black mat on the inside of your Stamparatus so that you get a good impression. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my plate and I'm going to do the larger leaf image in Old Olive. So I'm just going to line up, maybe I'll turn it so it has a little bit more room. So I'm just gonna find a good place for that image, add my cardstock, add my magnet, and then I can ink it up in Old Olive. I'm 
and stamp it down. And then if it's too light for you, go ahead and ink it again. So I'm done with my stamping. So this Nuts About Squirrels stamp set does not have a coordinating die. And so all you need to do is just do a quick fussy cut around the image. It's a nice, simple image. And so it doesn't take too long to cut out. Okay, so that's all done. So next I'm going to take the coordinating Perfect Plants dies and cut out these leaves. I like to use a little washi tape to hold everything in place. And then I'm gonna run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, so now that's done, let's go ahead and do our fun technique where we change our embossing folder into a background stamp. So what you're going to do is grab your embossing folder and I'm using the Timber 3D and the, the side that has the Stampin' Up! label is the front. So that's the side I'm going to use and I'm going to use Crumb Cake because I want a tone on tone look and I'm going to be using Crumb Cake paper. So you just begin by adding ink all over your the front of your embossing folder. And you don't want to slide it. You want to um, press the ink on top. That's going to give you the darkest impression. So next you're going to add your paper. And I want this to go up and down, so I'm going to rotate it. And you place it on the back, and then you just simply close this. Now, some people will run this through their stamp and cut and emboss machine, and so you're going to get both the impression and the ink at the same time, but I just want it to look like a background stamp. So I'm just gonna take my fist, and I'm just gonna rub it all over to add pressure to the embossing folder so that I get a nice, even, inked image that transfers to the cardstock. Okay. So you'll get something that looks like this when you're all done. Now cleaning your embossing folder is really easy. You can just wipe it with your Simply Chamois or even run it through just some warm water and it will take the ink right off. Okay, so we are ready now to put our card together. I have a card base of crumb cake cardstock, and I'm just going to fold that in half and then add my background piece that we just stamped in the center. Next, I've cut out a rectangle from the stitched rectangle dies. It is one and three fourths inches by three and three fourths inches. And this is gonna go down kind of as my grounding point. But before we add that, we can just add our stamped images to it, and then we can pop everything up with dimensionals. So I'm also using some fun accent colors, as you can see here. I've got a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock, and I've stamped it in Cajun Craze ink with this fun leaf image, just to give it a nice subtle um, pattern. And then I'm going to angle one side. And this strip is 3 fourths of an inch in width. And then I have a 3 eighths of an inch piece of the gold metallic specialty paper. And I'm just going to angle one side of that as well. And then I can add these two things to my rectangle. I'm gonna place the Cajun Craze piece down first. I want it just to come off the um, side here just slightly. And then I'm gonna do the same with my gold specialty paper. And that's gonna come off the edge just a little bit as well. 
So it will look something like this. And then we can go ahead and add our stamped images. This little squirrel guy is going to be popped up with dimensionals. So I'm just going to put a couple on his body. I'm going to leave his tail open and then I can add some dimensionals to that when I add this piece to my card. And he's just going to go kind of in the center of that Cajun craze piece there. For this piece, I'm going to add it behind. And so I want to just add it with a little bit of, um, I think I'm just going to use some liquid glue at the base here. And then I'm just going to slide it behind the squirrel and um, just kind of peeking out. I want a little bit of his tail to be covered with that leaf there, just for some fun dimension. Then I'm going to add the darker leaf. I'm going to place a couple glue dots on these bottom leaf here. And then I'm going to tuck that into the gold strip at the bottom. And then just add it. I'll tack it down to the front of the squirrel and the back Cajun craze. So it's kind of popping out as well. We kind of want that squirrel to look like he's hiding in there and just popping out to say hello. So now we can add this to our card base and I want to add that with dimensionals, like I said. So add a couple to the back and then make sure to also support some of these um, pieces that are coming off of that background. And so I'm just going to make a couple of these dimensionals smaller so that they fit a little better. And this gets added to our card kind of in the bottom left area, just like this. And then we can add our greeting and the greeting has um, some angled edges as well. So I'm going to angle both the left and the right side. And then this gets added with a dimensional. And then you're just going to tuck that near the squirrel and between the two extra pieces, just like that. Then the last thing we're going to do is just add some champagne rhinestones around our image. Okay, and my card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this fun technique where you can create a background stamp using your embossing folders, as well as watching me create this really cute card. If you're interested in getting written instructions or seeing close-up images, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.